everyone. I have been going through our travel supplies, our suitcases, our stock up items because even before we hit the road, we usually stock up a little bit at a time. That will be a totally another video working on it. I want to do it slowly leading up to a trip though. But we normally stock up on supplies, clean out our suitcases, start making prepping lists. And I was like, you know, I should check my video on our toiletries bag to make sure I've got it completely restocked except there wasn't one yet. So today I'm gonna show you what we are putting in our 2022 toiletries bag. I will say, this is a bag that we keep packed with our toiletries in it, but when we use the, uh, when, we are, when we travel as a family, as like a whole family, we have individual bags that we divide everything up so that if one, bath, one person's in the bathroom in the shower, they can be fixing hair in front of a mirror in the room itself. So we actually divide it up into different bags and I show that through our packing videos. But this is like our all in one bag if just Matt and I are going, if just me and one of the kids is going, of what we put in our travel supply bags. So let me turn around and show you what our 2022 bag looks like. This is our starting bag. I have had this bag since I traveled solo as a teenager. I tra solo traveled to uh, Chicago to several trips to Florida, Indiana. Uh, I lived in dorms for six weeks at a time during the summers as a teenager. So I traveled a lot as a teen. And I also did like a lot of family travel back and forth to uh, other states and things. So this is a bag that was gifted to me and I've had it ever since. It is so durable. But this is the bag that we take if it's just Matt and myself or just Matt, myself, and one of the other kids or just myself and one of the other kids. This is the bag that we will take with us. But in between travel, this is where we keep all the travel supplies and where I use to restock things that I need to restock. So let me take everything out one at a time and show you what is in this bag. There are a couple things that are not in the bag and I will explain that as we go. So I actually will show this to you real quick is I do have on this card, I won't show you the whole thing because there's actually some personal things for the kids on here. But on this card, I have written everything that this bag needs because I've actually already finished repacking this. This has everything this bag needs for me to restock. Like uh, I need more deodorant in there. I'll share that. I'm not going to be embarrassed by that. Um, I need more deodorant in there. Um, in between travel, we take any open face wipes, toiletry wipes, and items like that out of the bag and we finish them off because we don't travel enough to keep like things in wipe packets in this bag year round. And we also want to keep things fresh. So we're fine buying some things fresh every time. So face wipes, toiletry wipes, and things like that are things that need refresh. So a couple of things, I'll go ahead and cover that. A couple of things that I do need to stock up on that are not going to be shown here are uh, the girls each bring their own deodorants that are open. They just bring whatever's open. That way, you know, they haven't bought a brand new deodorant. And if it gets lost during the trip, then it's no big, you know, push. Because we usually buy the, we don't buy the cheap stuff. <laughs> so, that way, if it gets lost or anything, they can just get a new one when they get home. They usually just take one that's open. Or we see if there actually is a travel size of the brand that they use. Um, so, again, face wipes, uh, moisturizer. We have switched to starting to use uh, face moisturizers and we now use one that has SPF in it. But that's also an expensive item that I don't wanna just put in the bag to sit in there until in between travel when we can. So, and also again, like, I know it all sounds crazy, but also we had three canceled trips between January and February. So that's another reason why I was like, you know, I don't wanna pack it and then, you know, need these items before the next time we go. So I am gonna pick up some more moisturizer just for this bag, uh, lotion. I have a lotion in here, I'll show you that, but I need like a big lotion because as I'm, I don't know if it's just my psoriasis getting worse or the fact that I'm in my mid thirties now or what it is, but I have found like staying in hotels, the dry air, I need more moisturizer for my hands or they get really, really chap while I'm, you know, away on vacation. So I'm going to put some more lotion in here. The first aid kit will not be pictured in this bag. Um, we have a separate first aid kit. I've already restocked it. I basically just put first aid kit on here to remind me to put it in the suitcase whenever we travel again. It is fully restocked. I have done a video on that. That will be up here. I do not do videos about what meds we travel with because I don't feel like that's a safe thing to share on a public platform like YouTube. We do have a bag of over-the-counter medication that we always travel with to meet our needs so that is not in here as well let's see also i need to pick up some aloe i don't have any travel size aloe 
and on our last trip the kids needed it and we didn't have any also like any feminine hygiene products i do not store in here because I don't wanna risk like something getting on them. So we always package those separately. There are special pockets in our suitcases that we put those in. I'll just throw this out here. If you're watching this, you probably are a parent. My YouTube algorithm says, unless you're lying, none of you are under the age of 18. When I travel as a woman and I have all girls, we just take a whole brand new pack of feminine products and we don't even worry about like counting them or anything. We just take a whole pack. And then we just use that as needed on the trip. So that's all I'm gonna say of that. But those are also packaged separately. So again, things you're not going to see as a first aid kit, feminine hygiene items, and our travel medication. This is just like what you would picture toiletries and hair care items. Start packaging all of this. Again, like I just wanted to go ahead and preface all that because like I did open up, I was like, ooh, my needs card's right there. I might as well explain that. But yeah, so one of our tips, I think I've shared it in a video. I'll put it up here. We did a video where we talk about what we do immediately after a trip so that the next time before a trip, we're not panicking because we found that if we do it immediately after a trip, we're more prone to actually remember to do it before the next trip instead of getting on the next trip and be like, oh wait, I needed that. So we write them down immediately. And again, I was just repackaging this. So I wrote it down immediately of what we need to buy. I will go ahead and show this though. As of 2022, because I have four girls, mostly teenagers, and myself, last time we went and stayed at a hotel for four consecutive nights, our hotel room shower ran out of shampoo and conditioner. And due to current world circumstances, they were not restocking the rooms unless you specifically asked them to. And we kept forgetting because we were just, you know, on vacation, busy. We'd, cut, we'd leave early or come in late. So it really wasn't a thing for us. So we have decided that for 2022, from now on, we're just going to take a full size shampoo and full size conditioner. This is what myself and my red hair use. And this is really nice. Again, I have psoriasis, so I have really sensitive scalp and this has done wonderfully. And also it has worked really well for my hair and also for my redhead. Her hair, if you don't use specific products, like it'll actually look greasy or it'll make her hair look darker. Um, but this we found works for her. But again, as of 2022, full size containers. Do we still travel with small containers? Yes. Yes, we do. And the reason that I'm still doing that is there are still, I have done at least one solo trip in the past five years since we started traveling more as a family or are traveling overnight as a family. Um, we did some like little day trips when the kids were little, but we did our first adventure at Disney and then we kind of have been going ever since. So, there are times that I, just me solo, I'm going, or just Matt and myself, then I'm still going to need these. And also, like, if we're going to a hotel that's fully stocked or something, and we're not going to have to worry about it, then these would just be emergency anyways. But if I forget to pack these, these will still be in there. So they're going to stay in there because, again, number one, solo trips, I would only need that. Number two, if I forget these, those are still in there. This is Matt's pack. So if he doesn't want to use what the hotel has provided or he just wants his own personal or if they're completely out, this is his personal. He has a men's body scrub, a men's body wash, and a men's um, shampoo, conditioner, three in, or two in one, I think, in this bottle. So that gives him a pack to always have on hand. This pack actually came with are Samantha Brown suitcases that we use. This was included with it and we just keep it packed and restock it as needed. Next thing on the list is mouth hygiene. Dollar Tree sells travel toothbrushes every now and then. They don't always 100% have them in stock. And even though they have gone up in price, they're still usually cheaper for travel toothbrushes than any other place. This is the model that they're using this year instead of these. These are the ones from last year, but they only used them for like four nights and you can clean them in between uses. So the kids are gonna reuse them the next time and then we'll probably toss them after that because just, I don't know, it's just, that's just kind of my thing. But anyways, these work really well for travel. This was an extra one that we had actually purchased, which worked out great because now we're a family of six. So those are all me for the kids and myself. And then Matt's gonna use this one because it looks different. That way he can definitely tell which one's his. Sometimes we keep these bottles and refill them with our own mouthwash, like the big bulk bottles that we get for our family of six. But for travel, it's nice to have some of these that are unopened. And with those, you can sometimes, some hotel rooms have like the little cups. You can like let everybody pour their own a little bit in there to be able to use while traveling. Let me explain this real quick. So we actually picked this up from Dollar Tree three years ago. I think bef not before Disney Cruise, but before Mackinac Island trip. 
we found this and it actually fits specifically these placards. So what we have found works for us is we'll use these like one night at a time and then I can keep this bag in there and instead of having a whole bag that can risk getting dumped out, I am one of those people that once one of those placards has hit the floor, it's immediately going to the trash. I'm not putting that in my mouth. So I like having this because if this gets dumped out, it's not that big of a deal. If this does, it does. It's a big deal. So these work for like one night use and then the next day or that night before bed, I can restock them with these and have them ready for the next day. Moving over to our hair care products. I will specify this one also again. If I am traveling with especially my youngest, who is now a tween, but even still, when I'm traveling with especially my youngest, this is actually not everything I do with hair care. Our uh, Samantha Brown suitcase set has a packing cube for toiletries that is absolutely perfect for adding just hair ribbons to. We can add the brushes because we don't use the super fine ribbons, we use the thicker ones. So when we travel with everybody, I actually will have one separate for that. If we go on another trip soon, I will do another video of like how I divide those up because it has really worked for us and a lot of you have asked like, things that work for us. So I will share that. So we have it divided up. There's like a hair care bag, there's an in shower bag, and then there's uh, a toothbrush bag because sometimes like on the cruise, you can actually have a sink separate from the shower and that worked out really great. And we've had, we've been to a couple of hotels that have been that way too. So uh, Dollywood, we were able to do that. For the bag right now that you are seeing though, this is what we keep in there all the time. So this is an Altoid 10. Inside of here, I mean, of course you can see it's an Altoid tin, but I'm going to specify it. It's a mint tin. These work really well for this. These are the super teeny tiny hair ties. They are perfect for tiny braids, tiny little ponytails, and different little hairstyles. If you're on Pinterest, look up our channel, This Homeschooling Adventure. We will share other people's pins, and we have a pin board of sharing easy hairdos that we have either tried or are going to try that are perfect for travel. Look it up on there because we have found some amazingly easy ones. The hairstyle I did for Rebecca for Putt Putt is actually on that um, pin board. I like to have these for like the teeny tiny braids, teeny tiny hairstyles, and also it gives the kids a couple more loom bands to play with if need be. This is a tin that used to have Q-tips in it whenever the last mess, I mean Star Wars trilogy came out and it has Kylo Ren on it. What we use it for is, it broke. <laughs> it actually will go back together, but I just broke it. Um, hair pins, they're actually, if I can do it, they're actually two sizes in here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Wow, that one's really weird. Um, so we recently have bought these. You can get these at Dollar Tree as well. So $1.25 for like $300. Um, the larger ones are better for the older girls and myself. The younger girls, these little ones are great for. These are great for like messy buns that you want to definitely pin up all day. And then these are great for like detailed hairstyles. But having pins is a really, really nice addition. Um, we use these a lot whenever we were getting ready for dinner on the cruise. So I have two hair brushes. I have one just because... It's my youngest tweens and it's frozen. Honestly, if we're traveling together, I'm not as worried about like individual hairbrushes. If the girls want to bring an individual hairbrush, they can. I also have one in my mom backpack. So there, we actually have a total of three usually when we're traveling. If they want to bring their own, that's fine, but they have to keep it in their backpack and they have to keep up with it. But this also guarantees like we have two and that way at least two of the girls can get ready once. And I absolutely love these combs with the picks on them because you can uh, do parted hair so much easier. Even if you're not like parting it for a down do, if you're doing like a half ponytail, using those to help make an even half ponytail on the back works so well. This is a carabiner clip. A carabiner clip is not a hiking clip. And I found that out when I was, uh, learning how to do rock climbing when I was a teenager. But these you can get at Dollar Tree or Wish. The hair bow or the hair ties I think all came from Dollar Tree or Walmart. That is the easiest way we have found to keep our hair ties organized. I also have one of those in my travel backpack all the time. This makes sure that we have plenty of these for like ponytails, buns, and everything that we need in between. Last but not least, we have the miscellaneous slash oops, I forgot to show these with the things that they actually correlated with. Speaking of which, baking soda and peroxide toothpaste. We either use that or we use whitening toothpaste. I'm gonna finish that off and then I will put a whitening toothpaste in the bag. 
and we don't do the travel size toothpaste anymore because so what we used to do is each of the kids had their own toothpaste but then usually mid-trip it became no that's my toothpaste no that's my toothpaste or we would end up throwing half a toothpaste tube away anyway so unless the kids are going without us somewhere we just all use one giant tube of toothpaste and it works really well these shout wipes are great for getting little spots out of stains as we are traveling. And I don't have a separate one for like laundry items. Actually, I, I do on long trips. I actually do bring detergent on long trips. But I still want to put these with the toiletries because honestly, I would be more quick to grab it from a toiletries bag than to try to dig through a suitcase in laundry items that I would probably keep packed away in case, or until an emergency. So that's why it's staying with the toiletries bag. This is the H2O sea salt body lotion that the crew sent us home with. It, you know, it was basically they were going to have to toss them at the end of the cruise. So we just went ahead and brought it home. Um, this is Dove. Is it moisturizer? Is it body wash? It's moisturizing body wash. Downy wrinkle release. I saw another YouTube family who does a lot of cruising who highly recommended that downy wrinkle release. It's okay. It's not as good as like if you just absolutely need a good ironing, but it does work in a pinch to get some, like to make it look like you didn't just roll out of bed in your nice clothing that you're wearing to dinner for that night. These right here are nail blushes. This one usually would go in the shower and this one would go on the edge of the sink. Again, Dollar Tree, so I usually toss them after vacation and replace them. I try not to use a lot of plastic on vacation. We use as many reusable bags as we can and try to reuse things, but there's sometimes on some things, again, for hygiene that I'm not going to keep. Q-tips are in here, and this is, again, another pack. And actually, this one came from Walmart, and then we just have been restocking as we go. I don't always travel with my full essential oils bag because, number one, I don't want people to think I'm a complete nut. Number two, some people are actually allergic to some of the scents. The deep blue is amazing for muscle pain and it actually has a roller on it. So we take it for like an alternative medicine um, muscle relaxer for like if you have a leg cramp or something like that, which is much hiking as we've been doing. That's a must need. The Gold Bond body powder for chafing and uh, shoe odor. <laughs> because if somebody's shoes stink and you take it in a hotel room, oh, it's going to stink. So Matt's deodorant is here. Um, the, again, the girls and I will pack our deodorant last minute. I keep one pair of regular nail clippers. This is like a really good pair, 350 for a two pack and it came with toenail clippers. I don't travel with toenail clippers, but these are for, I have found if I don't travel with nail clippers, I need them. And if I travel with them, I might or might not need them, but at least they're there. Same for the tweezers. It's more for like, if I need it, it'll be there. And last but not least each of the girls and i travel with our own disposable razors so that is it for our 2022 travel bag again whenever i go to pack the samantha brown packing cube ones where i divide them out into separate ones i'll show you how that whole process works and that way for those of you that it'll help it'll be there and if you don't need it maybe you can also give me some advice of things of how you pack your toiletries for large families but that's it for today's video thank you to all of our members for helping to support our channel and help us to pay for our equipment and all of our channel needs thank you to all of you for subscribing and watching and for the positive comments that help me get through my day and we hope to see you next time